In this episode we're going to learn how we can use tab completions to simplify the usage of commands. And for that we're going to write a simple to-do application where we can choose to either add or remove items to the list. And the important part to learn here in this episode is how we can make this list with available arguments to the command. Okay, we start as usual, create a new project. I'm going to create it with a Minecraft extension and the name will be episode 07. It will be a plugin with Maven Java latest version and we don't want to use the paper manifest. Um, I'm going to change the name of the main class to to do plugin and the rest looks okay. So create and for the first step we're going to register the command in the plugin.yml so in the command section at the to do command and the description. Then in the main class we can remove the on disable method Inside the onEnable method, we can register our command with get command and the name of the command set executor new to do command. This class doesn't exist yet, so let's create it in a package called commands. Okay. And if we want to create a command without tab completion, implementing command executor only is totally fine. But when you want to create a command with tab completion, uh, you need to also implement tab completer and there is actually a shortcut instead of implementing command executor and tab completer you can just implement tab executor if you control left click on it you can see that this is just an implementation of the two interfaces we um, just implemented manually so implement the method this will um, provide the on command method for commands as usual and a new method on tab complete um let's arrange the parameters a bit so it looks a bit cleaner as you can see the on tab complete method accepts the same arguments as the on command method first the sender of the command then the command object itself the string which is the label currently used and the string array which are the arguments and inside the on tab complete method we will define all the valid arguments that should be shown in the tab completion process so the way it works is we check which argument the user is currently typing on if you want to do it for argument number one for example you simply check the length of the array of the args array with if args.length equals one and this will be executed when the player typed slash to do and then something here and our task in the on tab complete method is now to return a list of valid arguments for the position the player is currently typing in so at this position at position number one we want to allow add or remove return list of add and remove and as you can see now if you type to do then the on tab complete method will be executed and since we are at position one it will return the list that we defined in the if block but the problem now is that the list doesn't adjust to the things that we typed so if we begin typing add we expect that the list will only contain arguments that begin with the letters that we have already typed in this case the list should only contain add but there's a simple fix to that. We can use a method from string util, the first one here from org.bucket.util, and this method is called copy partial matches. What the method does, it will copy all valid arguments from the originals we've provided in the second argument to the collection in the third, third argument that begin with what the user has already typed. So let me give you an example. If the user typed to do nothing, then the string token will be empty. The originals will contain add and remove and the collection output will contain add and remove since all of them begin with nothing, so to say. If the user types A, for example, then the token will contain A. The originals are still add and remove, of course. And the collection in the third argument will be a list that contains all the valid arguments that start with A. So in this case, only add and the same for remove, of course, and for any other letter. If we type D, for example, then the output will be empty since none of the originals start with the letter D. So let's pass the token that will be args zero so whatever the player typed here then the list of originals will be this one right here so add and remove since those are the only valid options at position one and for the third we need to create a new collection so let's call it valid arguments and let's just create a list right here the final list will contain strings the name is valid arguments and it will be a new array list don't forget the semicolon and then in the return statement we simply return valid arguments so let's check that in game 
So if we do slash to do now and begin typing A, you can see that the list automatically adjusts to what we have started typing here. If we start with R, an ad will be removed. And if we type something completely different, then you can see that the list is empty. And in the next episode, we will finally have completed the topic of commands and learn about configuration files and how you can use them.